Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration how to make a double flare on a brake line. Show your support by hitting that subscribe button and help promote my channel by sharing your favorite videos on your social media pages. In order to produce a double flare, you will need a double flaring toolkit, which I have in a yellow case. This kit will come with various dies that fit different sized lines, a clamp, and a cone tool. Cut the line to size using a line cutter. Simply install the cutter, tighten it, spin the cutter, then tighten it again once loose and repeat until the line separates. When cutting the line, a burr will form. Use the deburring tool on the back of the cutter if equipped. Stick the deburring tool in the hole, apply medium pressure and rotate back and forth. I also like to touch up the end of the line with a file and be sure to face the line downwards in the end to remove any metal filings. We will need to ensure the clamp is clean, both the jaws where the lion sits and the surfaces that face each other. If there is any dirt or it can't clamp tight enough, the line will slip, causing flaring issues. Even use a little brake cleaner if needed to clean off any oily residue. Install the fitting first, otherwise you won't get it on after the flare has been done. This is a common mistake made by many, and you will have to cut the flare off, then repeat this process all over again. The side which is being flared must be on the chamfered side of the clamp. The line should be exposed the same thickness as the large side of the die. There are various dies available based on which size line is used, which is determined by which fits best inside the line. Ensure the clamp is tightened down well, as we don't want to risk the line slipping, which will cause flaring issues. If the line were to slip, this would prevent the flare from forming and also damaging the line, most likely not allowing it to be reflared again, so it will need to be cut off. Apply a small amount of oil to the end of the die and do this after the line has been tightened securely in the clamp. This isn't necessarily needed, but it does help with achieving a high quality flare. Insert the dial in the end of the line then. Next install the cone tool, which will push the die into place, forming the line. The cone will have a depressed area where it sits onto the back side of the die. Tighten the cone tool until it stops. For added assistance, the line clamp can be tightened in a vise. Here is the first step of the double flare completed. Reinstall the cone tool so the flare can be folded down. Again tighten until it stops. There should be some oil residue left over, but if desired you can apply a touch more oil which will provide some lubrication. Here is the line still in the clamp once done. And finally, the flare done and ready to be installed. This concludes the rest of my tutorial video. If you have any comments, please feel free to post them. Also subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.